The vehicles bearing the portrait of Emmanuel Tumsime Mutebide arrived at Kolo grounds a few minutes to 10 a.m. The service, presided over by the Archbishop of Church of Uganda, Dr. Stephen Kazimba Mugalu, was also attended by the President Yodi Kakutam Seveni, the Chief Justice Alfonso Winyidolo, and the Central Bank Governors from South Sudan and Kenya, among others. Betty Mutebile described her late husband as a gentleman and people person who loved his family and always found time for them, in spite of his busy and demanding schedule. And now, I want to thank God for Emmanuel's life, for enabling him to serve our nation, for using him to transform us to be better people. The Minister of Finance, Matia Kasaija, who spoke on behalf of his friends, said Mutebile died at a time when they were working so hard to see the country's economy flourish. The only problem is that God has taken him away from me when we are trying to ensure that the economy begins to go the way I showed you in the Parliament one time. If you want, I can tell you, show you. You. In President Uhuru Kenyatta's speech delivered by the Governor's Central Bank of Kenya, he praised Mtebile for holding the country's economy together at a time when the world was grappling with the COVID-19 pandemic. As the world reeled from an unprecedented pandemic, Professor Mutembile's steady hand at the helm of the Bank of Uganda ensured that the Ugandan economy and the economic well-being of its people were protected. President Museveni said the former governor had helped the government achieve part of their 10-point program after the liberation war. The currency uh, re re reform floating so that the shilling finds its level, its actual level, rather than the artificial level of, 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 of fixing. And then thirdly, the privatization. So, I'm really here to salute the contribution of Mutebile as a person. The head of his medical team, Dr. Ben Mbonye, told the mourners that Mutebile died of multiple organ failure, accelerated by COVID-19, which explains why his body was not brought to parliament and to Kololo. And a number of times, would they continue to test him to see whether he had turned negative. By the time of his death, he had not yet turned negative. That's one of the reasons why his body is not here with us. The main problem that he had was within the lungs. He had uh, extensive pneumonia that had been a result of that bacterial infection. But there was a feeling that it's possible that COVID might have had a contribution. Dr. Chris Valio Monsi, who is heading the team organizing the burial, says Mtebile's body will be taken to his home in Kabale district tomorrow. He will be buried on Sunday. In all of these events, we shall strictly ensure that the SOPs and the other public health prevention measures for COVID-19 are observed. Emmanuel Tumsime Mutebile died on 23rd January at the age of 72. He had been governor since 2001. John Cliff Wamala, NTV News.